What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today with me is my good friend Dwight, Weston, and Hazel, and we've got Jocelyn over here as well. Um, right now we're doing a little bit of clamming, looking for some little neck clams, and we'll go for some horse neck clams too. Earlier, we got some mushrooms, check it out. Found some chanterelles already. Ooh, look at that, that's a nice one. And there's some up here. Ask Taku if, if he's finding yellowfoot chanterelles. Over. Are Tell you him they're golden chanterelles. Golden chanterelles. Oh, look how cute this one is. Weston, go grab that one right there. What the? What is it? Oh yeah, that's a chanterelle. It's just broken. Yeah. It's a little old. All right, maybe you don't need to grab that one. I think there's another one behind you. Oh, right here. Yeah. It's on it. I, oh, I found one. Small. Yeah. Oh yeah, good find. <laughs> Look at the other side of this tree, little bush too. Uh, Over there. Oh, get over here! We need the basket! Oh, you gotta go through there. Coming over. You see all that over. in there? Oh, giant! Yeah. Nice. There you go. Just put it down right here for now. Pick them all. Pick them all. <laughs> That's what I found. It's an antler. No way. This is so cool. I'll walk right past it. <laughs> now I have two antlers. <laughs> Good find. Nice. That's a big one. There it is, wow. right? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> got a good, got a good little spot here. Look at, look at her, emerging, emerging from the brush. She just said she had to abort because she had too many, too heavy. I know. I just had to start. Uh, had to start switching them out. This one's nicer. Leave the ugly one behind. <laughs> Let's go get some more. Okay. Okay, so check this out. This looks exactly like a chanterelle from up top. Look at all these. They look nearly identical. But you pick one up, these are actually false chanterelles. You can tell by the gills. Look at that. It's very, very much a look-alike. Such a look-alike mushroom. Those ones you cannot eat. Yeah, even the same yeah. size. If you feel them, they feel a little different. Check it out. We just found some puffballs. I actually never tried puffballs before. When these guys get old, the center gets all gross. So you gotta make sure it's it's good. Cut it open. Look at that, pure white. It's a good puffball. But I think this one right here, look at this. Oh, the inside, not so pure white. Those are too mature. Oh, we get these ones, these little guys. Hmm, smells good. Here are some older puff balls. Check this out. Poof, puff, puff, puff. There you go. That's a puff ball. Try to find the mushroom in this area. Oh my gosh, there's something on there, but that doesn't look right. Stop! Don't take another step. Oh Don't take another step. <laughs> Don't oh, wow. take another step. <laughs> <laughs> you almost stepped on it. Oh, Look at that. Wow. That's a matsutake. That's a matsutake right there. Perfect little matsutake right there. And of course, Jocelyn's over there doing her own thing. Let's we'll see what she's got. <laughs> There she is. We have just hit the gold mine right here. Dawson got another one. Wow, well, it's deep in there. Yeah, I don't even know how I saw that to be honest. <laughs> nice. Oh. You gotta do a sniff test here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, let me do this one. This one is the best one, probably. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Strong. Good. So cool. Oh, Weston found one. Weston found one. Awesome. Good job, Wes. It keeps going. <laughs> it keeps going. 
Hazel got one. Hazel's on a big one. We're on a gold mine. We're on a gold mine. That's a massive, <laughs> massive one. Yeah, make sure to try to get the whole thing out. <laughs> oh, it has a little baby under him. Oh wow, it's got a baby too. Mm -hmm. Dwight's trying hard. I'm, trying. <laughs> but I know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty left out. But I know how it feels against. Already, Daddy? I'm just gonna start blindly. That's, that's my technique too. Yeah, I Sometimes. need a rake. <laughs> Look at this. We got some old oyster mushrooms. No waterlogged. I won't leave that. Just on a pile. Just on a freaking log pile. We've uh, now met up with our friend David, the Matsu master himself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his Gandalf stick. <laughs> the white warrior, Gandalf the Great. It's worth even looking down there because I've, I mean, this yeah. whole ridge line, yeah. right? Uh -huh. It's all pretty much facing south. Right. And then I've even found huge ones um, on the opposite end. Really? Of this slope I've over never here. seen any big ones, ones like side, so. giant. Yeah. These ones right here. That's, these are the nicest ones. And there's another one that's pretty good too. Nice. Good job. There we go. We got some oysters. Oh, look at that. I feel like that's going to get so much bigger. Look at these little guys. Black trumpets. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, man. This is the first. Yeah. Okay, so that means they usually start lower and then move up. So this is a good sign. Yeah. I bet definitely. there's more around here for sure. I was hoping to find some up yesterday, but nice. If you want to cut some of the bigger ones off, you can use my knife. That's a good, yeah, that's solid. Man, if you ever get a big bag of these, I swear they smell like blue cheese. <laughs> I love blue cheese. I think I'm gonna leave that little bundle. David just found some pigs here. We were just looking at the pictures of those yesterday. Let me take a look it's at actually, them. Actually. Yeah. The master himself. Look they at actually that. smell pretty good. Well, wow, kind of purple tinge to it. Yeah, they're really pretty. Really cool. Kind of looks it, like it look from at the, the top. top. That's a yeah. Matsu, bro. On the top for sure. That's the biggest, <laughs> that's like world record Matsu. Jeez, dude. What did I say? Oh my gosh. One old one, but damn. Holy snarkies. It feels like a Matsu. Yeah. Nice, solid, firm. Holy mo oh my oh god. god. Damn. Wow. Yeah, that's a Matsu for sure. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's a little moldy, but... Wow, damn. man. That's... I mean... Jeez. Yeah, string cheese, matsumatsu. Wow, dude. Incredible. See if it even smells like one. Yeah, this must have been... That first flush, huh? Maybe. Dwight's walking away. He just stepped right here. He stepped right there. It's the mother of all corals. And there's something right there. Dwight. No. Come on, man. Oh my god. Come on, That's man. That's what I stepped over? That's what you stepped over right Jeez. there. I suck at this. Oh, Hazel's on one too. Oh, oh my God! Look what Jumbo has. I know. I've been calling you. Wait, and hold you on. wouldn't come, so I was like, I'm gonna just pick it. Jumbo, that's a cauliflower. Oh, you found cauliflower? That's yeah. awesome. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Dwight. I found one too. There you go. <gasps> my God. Matsu. My first one. Man, it's kind of, it's kind of going off today. It is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pet it and love it. That's so cool. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight probably crushed a few. <laughs> he literally stepped right next stepped, to it. Yeah. That's why Taco saw it. <laughs> David's got something over here. What you got, bro? Look at this thing. What is that? Look at that thing. That's a white chanterelle. Oh, shoot. I've never actually found one before. Huge. Oh, my God. This thing's... Wow. Wow. It's one there too, huge one. Yeah. Oh man, what a diverse day, you guys. Yeah. This is incredible. Insanely diverse. Everything today. 
Oh, this thing is going to be glorious. Man, what a team effort today. Oh, man. This thing's glorious. Wow. Wow, dude. Look at that. <laughs> look how fresh and pretty that is. Wow, look at that, man. That is gorgeous. So we managed to find an insane variety of mushrooms today. Oh man, we were so happy. Dwight and everybody was just ecstatic on how many mushrooms we found. Now we're doing a bit of clamming and the clamming hasn't been so great just yet. Today I'm hoping to make some clam matsutake rice as well as some seafood mushroom pot pie or mushroom clam pot pie. Actually, we might do some poke pulling too if we have time after the clamming. So stay tuned, this is gonna be an exciting one. Oh, just got a little bit here. Maybe 10 in there. Put There's those two arse in there. Too. In there. There's two got a few. Okay, so some green crab in here. There you go. Two ghost shrimp in there too. Yeah, you wanna eat that? <laughs> All right, we are now in the mud flats and we are going to be looking for horse neck clams. And the mud flats only exist during a low tide. Today is a negative 0.5 low tide and it's peak low tide right now. Um, hopefully, it's not too difficult to find these guys today. And what I look for is just little holes on the ground and you can usually see the siphon sticking out of them. And with these poke poles that I have, you'll see what I'll do with it in a second here. Let's find one first. Here we go. I think this is one right here. Mm, I didn't feel it siphon, but that is a shape of it. Looks like it should be a horse neck. What is this? Oh, it's a crab. Okay, this hole is for sure a clam and because I stuck my finger in it and I felt it. So what I'm going to do is use this stick and I'm going to poke all the way down as far as it goes. The siphon is retracting the siphon right now and the clam is going to keep going down. Actually that's going to be it right there. Oh yeah that's still about 12 inches deep. Okay so I'm going to leave that stick there. We're going to dig right on the side of that so we don't crush the shell. Not right now Wes. Yeah go for it. Go for it Wes. You can do it. Yeah. Good. Take some big chunks out of out of the mud. Okay. Alright, let's get down and dirty. It's time to get down and dirty. Do you see it, Weston? No. Come on this side. You can Over feel it here. here. Right there, big big clam. Oh there it is. Nice. Yes. Oh, it's pink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horse neck. <laughs> horse neck clam. Oh, really? Got him. Good job, Weston. Do you feel him? Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right, me and Weston. Managed to dig up a couple of bu butter clams. Yeah, good job. These are delicious as well. Look at this. Ooh, Jocelyn and Dwight dug that one up. Good one. Good horse neck. Oh, let me see that. Oh, that's a horse neck. Oh, actually, let's wash it. <clears throat> nice. Um. I got Team Hazel and Dwight over here. <laughs> go, Ryan, go. Really yeah. No, I got it. It's right here. Oh, good. <laughs> you got one? Yeah, it is. Nice. Nice. All right. Good you got, job. you guys got two now? <laughs> Feels like <laughs> ten. Yeah, ten. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What kind is this one? I think this is a butter clam. Yeah. Pretty sure. I got the stick. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Another butter clam. Sweet. Good job, dude. You gotta make sure to fill your holes. You wanna see the siphon? Go ahead, touch this. Touch this through this thing. 
I grab it? No, you don't have. It won't do anything if you grab it. See how it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, see how it goes down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if you grab it, you're just gonna rip the siphon off because the body itself is deep. So go ahead, let's put that stick in there. Check how deep he is. Oh, jeez, this is deep. That's at the clam now. Oh, that's about, man, almost 16 inches deep. <laughs> You saw the siphon? I saw the siphon and I saw the squirt. That's oh. it. Oh, oh, nice one. Oh, <laughs> that's a butter clam. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, butter, butter clam. clam. Oh. Nice. We're back at the other one that we marked. Let's get him out of there. Let me find my stick. What's that? A clam that he just undug and then crushed it. Oh, a little guy. I think he already took him out. No, that's fine. Can we let him go? No. no. You, you have to. You actually have to keep them. Japer clams, aka horse neck clams and butter clams, or Washington clams. If you dig them up, you have to keep them, no matter the size. There it is. It's broken. Uh -huh, just cracked the shell a little bit. That's okay. Still good. Still a good clam. All right, let's put this hole back. Now we're at the jetty and we're gonna try our poke poling. Got plenty of clams. So we have a little bit of daylight left. Maybe just one hour. So we're gonna just capitalize on these guys while we can. See if we can find any holes here. That hole's a little too tight. All right, go that way to your right. Careful. Oh, look. Stick it in there. Stick it down in here. Down. Straight down. Yeah, right around there. That's the bottom. Yeah. Leave it in there for a minute. And maybe change positions. Maybe poke that way. I like I actually like this hole over here. I'm going to try this one. It doesn't go very deep. I got one. Oh, you got one. <laughs> oh, look, Carson, you guys, look. It's a monkey face, sprinkle bag. Look, they got a eel. Look, they got a What, did you see it? Yeah. Didn't even feel it bite. It's a monkey face eel. Monkey face eel. Monkey face eel. That's so cool. Can you eat them? You can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you had one. Uh, I had one. Oh, do it again. It's only a little small, so I'm going to put it back, yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's a little small, this guy. Wow, that's small? small? Yeah. Alrighty. Let's this guy go. Pretty quick, huh? Try to put it like deep inside a hole. And you gotta- Is it a deeper rock? Yeah. Like not tide pools? Um, you can do it in tide pools too, but the jetty is perfect place. Perfect. Maybe leave it there like 30 seconds, one minute, if nothing, then just put it in a different spot. Yeah, don't leave it too long. If it's not there, then yeah. you just keep moving. They, they bite fast. Okay, now put it in there, just gently. Put it down a little bit further. A little way to the left. I see. Not to the oh there, there you go. There is one. Oh. <laughs> oh, you had one. Yeah. I'll be ready with the net. There you go. Got him. Got him. Oh. Nice, Chris. There you go. You want to keep it? It's a little small too. The other one was bigger, I think. You want to keep it for now? Come on. They they're so good at escaping, so I gotta be careful. There we go. Try again. There's another one in there. Yeah, there's another one. They're really good at taking the bait, though. There you go. See, I told you that's a bigger one. It's right down in the cove, right there. There we go. Oh, let him eat it a little bit. There you go. There you go. There you go. Much bigger. Much bigger. There we go. Oh my God! <laughs> Come over. It's huge. <laughs> good job, dude. Two, two in one minute. Two. Let the other one go. Okay, then let him go first. All right, we'll let this guy go. And then once I want to keep this one. Okay. It's huge. Big. All right. Okay, there you go. Here, let's put it in here. Yeah, good idea. There you go. Okay, we'll close, it's lock cool. it. It that's looks cool. Nice. Cool. Think that's enough? No. <laughs> that's only one. I need it's only one. Go ahead, put another one. 
There's a bigger one somewhere. Oh, he took the bait. No, Weston no. has an idea. So I need to put the net in. Yep. Try to get it to come in the net. Okay. Take it out. Go for it. Let's see if it works. I've never tried that before. Sounds like a pretty cool idea though. No, it doesn't work. Not working, huh? Oh, they took it. Oh no, it's still there. Maybe they couldn't see the bait. Yeah, they probably couldn't see it. Yeah. It's too dark in there. Too dark. It's a good idea though. I'm going to try it here. Don't put it in that fast. You're putting it to the bottom. Oh, put it in slowly. <laughs> like this? Yeah, teach them how to do it. Okay. Put it in slowly. Oh, it's kind of shallow? There you go. It's a big one or it's stuck? No, it's, it's a I big one. It. It's a big one. Oh, no, it's not too big. There you go. That's awesome. There you go. Oh, Dwight's got one. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Got it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a... Oh, no, that's, that's a... Fish. That's a rockfish. Oh, cup greenling. Greenling. It's a little, it's a little undersized. It's small. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a greenling. It's a blue greenling. They have a minimum size limit, so we, we can't keep this one. But you can take a look at them. Got the release. greenling. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Here you go. I'm gonna release them, okay? Okay. I am starving. Let's get back to the house. We're actually staying at an Airbnb here, so. Uh, we're gonna get back and make some dinner. Wow, well, what an amazing haul today. We got a lot done today in a short amount of time. Got the mushrooms, delicious. Look, oh, the cauliflower, the cauliflower mushroom. I've been looking forward to finding this one. Jocelyn found it, of course. This is gonna go great in our dish. And we got our uh, chanterelles as well as our matsutake. Uh, these are the mushrooms we're going to use today. We also have our clams right behind me in the bucket. Let's get started with the prep. The first thing I'm going to make is the seafood mushroom pot pie. And for the mushrooms, we're using the cauliflower and the chanterelles. I think I'm going to, yeah, leave them like that. Just like that. I think we don't even need to cut it really. String cheese. And I did wash these already. Uh, and we will do a dry saute with the chanterelles. All right, and this guy, we have to kind of clean him out still, quite dirty. So, let's see how we're gonna do this. I think I'm gonna just cut a chunk off or maybe just break it apart. There we go, there it is. And I'll break it off into even smaller sections so we can get in there and get rid of all this dirt. I'll wash this off. I'm also going to prep some potatoes, carrots, and celery. It's kind of true. <laughs> Here's the beautiful matsutake. My favorite mushroom of all time. I'm going to cut this up and get it ready for its dish too. The matsutake. Just carefully slicing them really thin like this. This is literally the best smelling mushrooms ever. It's hard to describe what it smells like. People say red hots, and I kind of get that. I do understand what they mean when they say that. It's like a little cinnamony, look like smells like spices. Okay, we gotta prep these guys. Ooh, squirted. I peed a lot. <laughs> Just taking a butter knife, and we'll cut that there. And then open it up. We gotta do both sides. So, yeah, both sides open. Oh, 
voila. Oh, there's a little, little crab in there. <laughs> they, yeah, they have these little guys sometimes. <laughs> these are always really sandy, so gotta make sure to clean them well. Dry saute literally means no oil, nothing in there, just the mushrooms. Gotta pull off all of the excess moisture. Looks like the water's gone. All right, let's do the same with the cauliflowers. We'll start with some onions and garlic. Add some potatoes. We're gonna add some butter to this, just a couple nubs. Let's also give it a little seasoning, salt and pepper. And right now we are making a roux. And let's just, uh, so you gotta use some butter and we're gonna add some flour to this. And that's what's gonna thicken the main portion of the the pot pie. Let me do a little bit more butter. Just gonna go ahead and eyeball this. Direct flour directly into here. And we just want to mix this in. And the reason why you mix this in now instead of later, if you do it later, mixing it directly into um, liquid, you're gonna get clumps. You're gonna get clumpy, floury, and not gonna be good. I'm going to add some heavy cream and look at how thick that heavy cream gets because of the flour. That's what we want. And to this we're going to add the mushrooms that we dry sauteed and we're also going to add the clams. Now I'm just going to rinse this off in salt water. Butterfly to siphon open. Make sure it's all clean in there. Yeah. We'll also cut the tip off, this black part. That's where some of the toxins collect. And this right here, sort of like the scallop of the clam. Get the siphons from the horse neck clams. And first, you want to kind of stretch it out a little. Get the most out of it. And then we'll dump it in, blanch it really quick. Just about 30 seconds in there. And with the siphon, should be able to take the skin off now. This tough layer of clam skin. Cut off the tip and butterfly it open. Make sure to clean out that dirt that's in there. Normally I would use dashi for this, but today we just have water. I don't have my dashi, so I'm going to add some soy sauce. We should have a lot of good flavor from the little neck clams. They're gonna just release all of their deliciousness into this rice, as well as the matsutake. Straight to this rice pot, we're gonna add in the matsutake. This smells so good already. And I'm gonna add the clams in once it starts boiling. Okay, now I'm going to add the clams into here, as well as our mushrooms. That is just perfect. Let me just give it a taste. Wow, that's actually perfect. I don't think we need anything. We have a pie crust here. I'll just layer the bottom. And I'll just cut off the excess. Just store pot pie crust. Now this is going in, ready? So everything is going in. 
Wow, I think that's the perfect amount. That is absolutely perfect. My eyeballing just too good. Just too good. All right. For the top crust, we have a puff pastry. Puff pastry. Gonna poke a little tiny hole there on each side. And we'll pop it in the oven. Alright, we'll add the clams into here. This is gonna infuse so much flavor. And we'll lower the heat and come back in 10 minutes. And that rice is just about done. Looks awesome. Okay, we are looking good. I think it's about done. Ooh, puff pastry is nice and puffy. This looks absolutely beautiful. We got the pot pie all done, cooled down enough, hopefully. And we have our matsutake clam rice that is just, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, the matsutake and clam mixture. Like so far, just the smell of both in here, it's incredible. It's nothing like, like nothing else. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm excited for that. Kind of two separate things here, but <laughs> I had to make this because we had the matsutake and I really wanted to make this too. So, all right, let's get eating. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh yeah. Oh yes, baby. Mushroom seafood pot pie. All right, let's see how it tastes. Weston, are you gonna eat some of my pot pie? You wanna try some? Cool. Woohoo! Let's try it. All right, beer first. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what's the one should drink? I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> meal. Oh my! The pot pie is actually oh, that mushroom. Quite ridiculous. Oh, the cauliflower one. Oh my God. The mushroom smell is just thick. <laughs> mm. it's awesome. Oh, it's so mm. thick and mm. mm -hmm. in the clam. Nice chewy clam. Mm. I'm glad I skipped lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes nice and light too. Mm. Yeah, you're right. It's not too heavy. Yeah. But it's so flavorful. Oh. Mm -hmm. the, the cauliflower mushroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Thank you, Jocelyn. <laughs> oh, good job on the cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. I could easily just down that right now. Mm -hmm. Want to try the soup? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, touch the rice. Let's try the rice. Oh, the mm -hmm. clam matsutake rice. There we go. The clam flavor is so strong. Well, the matsutake flavor is so strong too. Mm -hmm. But they complement each other very well. Wow, that is really good. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's killer. I love matsutake. No wonder. 100% mm -hmm. my favorite mushroom. The water is so expensive. It's so different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Weston, how's the pot pie? Good. You like it? Yes. Oh, nice. I like it. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, we're going to solely enjoy this food. Thank you all for watching another episode. Dwight, fishing for Gyotaku. I let him off the hook today. He didn't have to do any printing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't.